In this video, we're going to be talking about aggregate supply. Now, recall that uh, there are two types of aggregate supply curves that we're going to be talking about. Uh, the long-run aggregate supply, which is vertical, and the short-run aggregate supply, which is upward sloping. And we'll talk about why they look the way they do. Now, aggregate supply is the quantity of goods and services that firms produce and sell at each price level. Okay. So we're going to be talking about the long-run aggregate supply curve uh, initially, and then we'll get to short-run aggregate supply. So in the model framework, you have real GDP on the x-axis and the price level on the y-axis, and we're suggesting that lo the long-run aggregate supply curve is vertical. Uh, this is vertical because in the long run, right, this is a long-run aggregate supply curve. So in the long run, GDP or Y, real GDP, is, a f is given by or is determined by some factors. This is sort of like your production function in microeconomics. So real GDP is determined by uh, capital, or sorry, we, we can start with labor, by, lab with, by labor, Capital, this is physical capital, like machines and equipment. Human capital, like education and training. And natural resources. Okay. And there's also another player, another factor in here, which is called technology. Or technical knowledge which has sort of this multiplier effect on all of these factors of production. So all of these things right here are factors of production. And in the long run, that's what determines the real GDP. And so any changes to, to any of these factors, whether it's technology, labor, physical capital, human capital, or natural resources is going to change the long-run aggregate supply. It's going to make it move. Now, the long-run aggregate supply curve shows the level of production that is sometimes called potential, potential output or full employment output or even the natural level of output. Since in the short run, output can temporarily temporarily be above or below this level, uh, we, we usually refer to the long run aggregate supply curve as being as representing the natural level of output. And uh, we call it the natural level of output because it is the amount of output produced when unemployment, so when unemployment, is at its natural rate. Okay, so that's why we call this the natural rate of output. Now, talking about the long run aggregate supply a bit further, we can see what causes the long run aggregate supply curve to shift. Okay, uh, now notice the aggregate supply curve is a vertical line here. It is not affected by the price level because in the long run you have monetary neutrality you don't have there is no effect on prices okay so so the only thing that can change is uh, the the movement from left either to the left or to the right okay and so we want to understand what causes those shifts in the long run aggregate supply curve now we've seen the production function here before, which says that real GDP in the long run, right, this is in the long run, is a function of labor, physical capital, K, human capital, H, and natural resources, N. And then there's the multiplier effect with technical knowledge or technology. Okay, so any changes to that would, would move the long-run aggregate supply curve. 
So what could cause, let's ask ourselves, what could cause a change in labor? If there is immigration from abroad, if there is immigration from abroad, that would reduce the natural rate of unemployment um, and make the long run aggregate supply curve shift to the right. Okay, because you have more immigrants, they're going to be producing more. Okay, usually that when when there's a natural a decrease in the natural rate of unemployment, that is usually coming from a reduction in the minimum wage, and then the long run aggregate supply curve shifts to the right. Okay, it goes to the right. You could also have shifts that arise from changes in diff different types of capital, either physical capital or human capital. And so any increase in uh, firms buying new computers, new machinery, new equipment, new equipment, machinery, etc would lead to the a rightward shift of the long run aggregate supply curve. Similarly, if you have any change or a favorable change in human capital, which is maybe the population becomes more educated over time. So maybe this is an increase in the average, le average years of schooling uh, or there's more training more vocational training, etc., that would uh, increase human capital and again make the long run aggregate supply curve shift to the right. We could also have shifts that arise from changes in natural resources. If there is a discovery of a new uh, type of natural resource, so there could be a discovery of coal or gas, you know, that uh, enriches our natural resource, uh, enriches our natural resources, that's also a favorable change. Uh, this can move the long run aggregate supply curve to the right. Okay, so again, these are, I'm talking about rightward shifts, but you can think about what would make it shift to the left. And the opposite, basically, right? So you have and this changing to the right, you could also have changes in uh, weather patterns. So if you have favorable weather conditions, maybe that helps your agricultural output. Right, and the agricultural output could go up. That would again lead to a rightward shift in the long run aggregate supply curve. Now, the last one, which is this A right here, is saying that there could be changes in technical know-how or technical knowledge over time. If there are new inventions, um, that are employed in production or there is more international trade, Remember that our production possibilities frontier shifts outward. So with international trade or, or improvements in technology, so we're able to produce more and that would also cause the long run aggregate supply curve to shift to the right. So these are all of the reasons that cause the long run aggregate supply curve to shift right. And you wanna think about this equation right here and then think about what would happen in each of these scenarios. Okay, so you would just have, here's your long run aggregate supply curve and that would shift to the right. You would, we would be at a higher natural level of output than before.